All right, so they updated OPT. Oh, no, I haven't updated OPT. Um, is, they probably have updated OPT. I, I think you can get it online now. There's an i765's online filing. I bet you there's going to be a ton of mistakes on that. But what I want to talk about here is I had a client call, and uh, you know, not clients, they're consults and stuff. And this person had uh, finished their school. Uh, I think they were a PhD candidate, but they still hadn't completed their thesis and they started OPT. And then um, they got worried. And they said, well, I never finished my thesis. Was this OPT inappropriate? And I, my initial reaction was, yeah, probably. But then I went and just read the OPT uh, the regulations for F1. And so uh, under 8 CFR 214.2 F10, I think two Roman numeral eyes, uh, that, I scribbled there. I can't read it. But essentially it said for OPT in these kind of cases, you need graduation where schools will graduate you. You don't have to have finished your, your thesis. So that was an interesting thing uh, I caught reading the regulation. In your spare time, read the F1 regulation. There's a lot going on there. F1, uh, when you really get into it, it's a very complex visa. And what makes it even worse is it's so complex. And we give it to people in these schools uh, who many times have a million other things to do and expect them to keep up on it. What are they called? Um, designated school officials, DSO. So it is what it is. I'm not. I'm not bashing them it's just it's so hard because i read it all the time it's very confusing so i and it's my job to know it you are doing your job as a dso you have a million things in your head so it's just so badly designed and add to that i'm gonna it was in the last ombudsman's uh memo that they issued last year and i already did an issue on that i have a full breakdown of the new memo it's just a must read i just haven't had time to do the podcast on it but um you see like there's just no nine of officers in in, in um it's in ice uh to even police this program so and the whole program is it has grown so tre tremendously the f1 program the student program i mean it's been dropped recently but the bureaucratic backside of it hasn't so there's just so many errors so much confusion that comes it's a very complex category you should just read it just start from the beginning you know read a little bit stop reading just have it on a rotation um and so you're really familiar with 8 cfr 214.2 f uh for student visas um, and if you want to look at L's, the L two four two point two L is really good. That's what it was. So I've read that probably a bazillion times. And every time I start a case, I read that because it's so important. But I stopped doing else.